Guys, I'm really pissed off. I go to the art store today and I see an art set that looks like this and it's only $2. What really pisses me off is are the supplies that are included in the set. There's uh, crayons, colored pencils, pastels, markers, and watercolors. And the paper itself is absolutely terrible. Especially considering that there are 100 pieces in this set. And since I'm a character designer, I'm gonna need some skin tones. And there aren't enough skin tones in the watercolor set. Since there's more colors that show up here than there are in the markers, colored pencils, and everything else here. So I'm gonna create a drawing today. I'm gonna most likely create a character in that drawing. So I'm gonna need some skin tones. This set doesn't have skin tones. I mean, whichever brand makes sets like this, at least throw in some skin tones because there are gonna be people who like wanna draw characters and stuff. All there is is like a really dark brown. Character designers don't use a lot of dark brown when they're drawing characters. They, le they at least need some flesh tones. If it's just a really dark brown, then it's not gonna be enough for us to work with. So, But, to those of you who are watching this video and are interested in a set like this, I'm going to create some art today and show you if this 100 piece art set is worth the $2. I already hate every supply in this set, including the paper, so I already had to cheat and use uh, Bristol paper. Because like tracing paper, it's very transparent and very flimsy, so if I use the markers on this paper, it's going to be like it'll kind of like bleed through like way too much for me to use it because I'll try to get like a really seamless blend with the colored pencils and it's gonna be really hard with flimsy paper so that's why I'm gonna use Bristol board for this illustration but the markers that are in this set are water based so I'm gonna have to kind of downgrade and use water based markers but I'm I am kind of thankful that this set actually came with watercolor palettes so I can use some watercolors on the markers because they're water based. So I was able to work with the watercolors and the markers at least a little bit. But since I'm used to doing cartoon illustrations, I'm going to need some shades for everything. But I only have like the 10 primary colors in this set in terms of the markers and the colored pencils and the crayons. So if I need a shade, I'm going to have to go with like the black crayon because that's what I use, like the black crayon. And it's really it's really hard to use the black colored pencil because the colored pencils themselves were absolutely terrible. So for the majority of the shading that I did in this illustration was mostly the black crayon. Even for the red, I didn't have really a dark red and the purple didn't work either because it was almost light red a little bit. Also, there are some white spots in the illustration. There are, there are also some white spots in the illustration where I kind of needed to shade with like a light gray. Since the colored pencils didn't work well, it kind of did suit my needs a little bit because when I used the black colored pencil, it kind of laid out like a light gray. No matter what pressure I put on it, it gave me a light gray. And then if I wanted to go even darker, I can just use the black crown and apply a little bit of pressure to that. Just some supplies and some colors you might have to use like differently in terms of whatever supply you're using and ultimately what you're trying to go for. So the Santa Claus you see here, I, I kind of had to make him into a Simpson character because I didn't have skin tones. I didn't have any skin tones in this set. So I had to use kind of a yellow and I couldn't mix any colors because if I mix like an orange and a yellow, it's not gonna look like a skin tone either. And I didn't wanna color Santa's skin with like a dark brown color, cause that's gonna look weird. But when I first opened this set, I was in love with the markers. So my plan was to use like every marker that was in this set and somehow, and I kinda knew they were washed. So I had to like throw in some watercolors a little bit here and there in the piece, you know. But after I finished the sleigh, the presents, and these two characters that you see, all that was left to do was the sky. But I didn't want to use markers in the like entire piece. Since the crayons were a little crappy, I tried to go for like the sky and like scribble in the entire sky. I wasn't ultimately trying to go for like a gradient, just for like a really dark sky. But if I couldn't go for a really dark sky, I wanted to try to go for like a light. <laughs> I wanted to try to go for like a night sky, you know? Like you have your light sky with like a light blue color and then you have your night sky with like a dark blue and like a bluish purple type color. I wanted to go for this bluish purple type color. So that's what I did with the sky and I tried to use the crayons to do it since they were crappy and, and just to be fair, I am using smooth paper so it's not gonna show up as nice. No matter how much pressure I put on these crayons, I'm not gonna expect too much vibrancy out of the crayons overall. And then the moon you see up there in the background, like I mentioned earlier with the black colored pencil, no matter how much pressure I put on it, it's just as crappy as the crayons. So if you ask me, I probably didn't even need the black colored pencil. It acts just like a regular graphite pencil. But to go for an even darker shade, I just threw in the black 
black crayon and try to get even darker with that. And I didn't even bother using the pencil sharpener that came in this set. I mean, I didn't really try it and I didn't bother either because the color pencils themselves were already crappy. So if this set came with a pencil sharpener, I have a feeling that was going to be crappy too, so I didn't bother using it. Also, like my other drawings, I tried to add highlights with it and I didn't want to cheat again and use my white colored pencil. This set also came with like a white crayon and since the crayons were just as crappy as the colored pencils, I didn't bother with that either. I mean, I tried a little bit, but if it didn't show up on the page, then, then I wasn't going to push myself to actually light up my drawing a little bit. Oh, and I forgot to mention the pastel. I didn't bother using those because, not because I knew how the, how the ones in this set work, it's because I don't use pastels like that. Because I have pastels that I used like a long time ago, but I haven't used those in like a long time. So I didn't bother using the pastels in this set either. All in all, you can say this was an eight marker challenge because I only used eight colors in this drawing. But this is the result of me using crappy supplies for a crappy illustration. Well, I don't wanna say crappy illustration, but you get the idea. Also, because if I say this is a crappy illustration, I'm gonna end up on Santa's naughty list. If you did like today's drawing and today's video, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like